Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs at List series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Office's IAS Academy. In this video, we will be discussing our next Current Affairs at List topic that is regarding Sun. So first we will discuss about the Sun's structure, then we will discuss about the Aditya mission. So Sun's structure, we are dividing into two parts, Sun's interior and Sun's exterior. Right? First we will discuss about the Sun's interior. Right? So, the sun's interior is divided into three parts. One is the innermost part called as core. Then comes the next part that is called as radiation zone. The next part is called as convection zone. So, we are dividing the sun into three parts, three layers. The innermost layer is core. The next layer is radiation, the next layer is convection. If you look at the radius of the interior part of the sun, if you look at the radius of the interior part of the sun, that is almost 7 lakh kilometers. Just imagine the radius of the actual sun is 7 lakh kilometers, how big it would be. At the same time, I will give you another interesting fact. Biggest star, sun is also a star, okay, biggest star, as of now, this is considered as the biggest star. It is named as UY Scuti. It is named as UY Scuti. Right? So, this UY Scuti, that star's radius, that star's radius is 1 point, it is 1.2 billion kilometers. It is 120 crore kilometers. That is the radius of the biggest star or in simple terms, biggest sun. Okay? what we know which has a radius of 1.2 billion kilometers 120 crore kilometers right the sun which we have in our solar system which has a radius of 7 lakh kilometers so we are interested now to discuss about our sun so let's not worry about the scooty and all so this core the core the innermost part of the sun that core where the actual nuclear fusion reaction will be going on Continuously, you will have nuclear fusion reactions and the energy released in the form of radiations, you will see in this radiation zone. So, in the radiation, in the second layer, you will find huge amount of energy getting released in the form of radiation. And the same energy in the form of heat will be released in this convection zone. So, when you look at the temperature of the core, that is close to 1.5 crore degree Celsius. That is close to 1.5 crore degree Celsius. That is the temperature of the core. Alright. So, we discussed about the interior. Now, we discussed about the interior of the sun. Now, we will discuss about the exterior. In simple terms, the atmosphere of the sun. That outer layers of the sun we will try to understand even the outer layer the exterior of the sun i am dividing it into or we are dividing it into three layers right so in the exterior part what is the first layer in the exterior part the first layer is called as photosphere the first layer is called as the photosphere it is almost 300 kilometers thick that photosphere is 300 kilometers thick. All the light from the sun, what we see from earth sitting on the earth, we see the light coming from the sun. That is actually coming from this photosphere. The actual light which we see from sun is coming from this photosphere. The next layer, the next layer around this photosphere that is called as, that is called as chromosphere. That is called as chromosphere. So this chromosphere that is having a thickness of close to 2000 kilometers. Then finally, then finally we have the final layer, the final layer that is called as corona. That final layer that is called as corona. So that final layer is called as corona. See this final layer will not be a distinct layer these final layers will be getting extended in the form of solar wind. 
this final layer will be extended in the form of solar wind and this solar wind will be spreading across our solar system. This solar wind will be hitting all the planets. So let us assume that uh, uh, we have uh, earth here, we have earth here, even our earth, even our earth will be experiencing this solar wind. And the solar wind, the solar wind I am mentioning here, that solar wind, which is nothing but release of plasma, which is nothing but release of energy, release of protons, electrons, in simple terms, release of plasma. Now, all these electrons, protons, right, that is going to reach Earth also, which has very harmful radiation. But still, we will not face any problem because our Earth is protected by our atmosphere which will protect us from the harmful radiations coming from the sun. So we should know that the last layer corona which extends in the form of solar wind and that solar wind will be covering the entire solar system. The solar wind if you want to know the speed of solar wind, the solar wind will be having a speed of 400 kilometers per second. The wind will be moving at a speed of 400 kilometers per second. The wind will carry huge amount of charged particles, electrons, protons, huge amount. From sun, for every second, 1 million tons of charged particles is released. And the solar wind will carry that much charged particles. And our earth is having a protective layer that will prevent us from these harmful radiations. Right? So now you would have got some idea about the structure of the sun. So we have interior as well as we have the exterior. So interior as we know, interior is divided into core, radiation zone, zone and convective zone. And the outer, outer part of the sun, the exterior part of the sun that is divided into photosphere, chromosphere and the corona. That corona will extend in the form of solar wind. Now, there are two interesting puzzles. There are two interesting puzzles with respect to sun. What is that puzzle, sir? I said the temperature of the core is 1.5 crore degree Celsius. That's an, the core's temperature is 1.5 crore degree Celsius. So, as we come out of the core, as we come out of the core, as we come out of the core, naturally the temperature will come down. Yes, when you come to this photosphere region, when you come to this photosphere region, when you come to photosphere region, the temperature from 1.5 crore comes down to 6000 degrees Celsius. The inner part of the sun has 1.5 crore degrees Celsius. When you come to the exterior, when you come to the exterior, we have the first layer called as photosphere. When it comes to photosphere, the temperature comes down to 6000 degrees Celsius. But when you come to, when you come to this corona, when you come to this outermost layer, when you come to that corona, the temperature suddenly increases to, it suddenly increases to 10 lakh degrees Celsius. In the outer layer, the temperature suddenly increases to 10 lakh degree Celsius. So in simple terms, understand, the center part of the sun has 1.5 crore degree Celsius. When you come to the outermost, I mean the outer part, the exterior part, at this point the temperature decreases to 6000 degree Celsius that we are able to understand. Right? Common sensically, the temperature will come down when you come away from the center. But however, when you come further outside, when you reach the outermost layer of the sun, that is the corona region, the temperature, it increases to 10 lakh degree Celsius. Why? Why the temperature is very high at the center? That we are able to understand nuclear fusion reaction is going on. It reduces to 6000 degree Celsius, that also we are able to understand. But why it suddenly increases to 10,000 degree Celsius? That is the puzzle number one. We need an answer for it. Then puzzle number two, we are not able to understand why, but we are able to see a sudden explosion of energy in different part of the sun, like how it is shown in the image. We see a sudden explosion of energy. 
sudden burst of radiations we are able to see at different parts of the sun. So why such radiation happens? Why such explosion happens? When there is such explosion, a huge amount of radiations are released. That is going, that radiations, when it is going to spread across the solar system, which will affect the earth, which will affect our satellite communications. Right? Which will, that radiation will interfere with our signals. So we need to study why there is sudden explosions. And we also see a sudden release of huge plasma, which we are saying it is coronal mass ejection. Coronal mass ejection. See, look at this image. Huge release of plasma. Why it is happening? If you want to compare that release, that can be equated with the millions of hydrogen bombs exploding simultaneously. How it would be? How much energy will be released? That much energy, that much plasma is released. We are not able to understand why it happens. We are not able to understand why it happens. Suddenly it happens. It follows a 11 year cycle. This coronal mass ejection itself is following a 11 year cycle. It increases, it reduces, it increases. These are our observations, but we need to know why it is happening. Why there is coronal mass ejection? Why there is sudden explosion of energy at different part of the sun? Right? So, why the temperature at the interior it is very high? Then it comes down. Then again it increases. What is the reason? To find out the answer for these puzzles, various countries have actively involved in various missions. So, in that lineup, India has sent our exclusive mission that is Aditya L1 mission to find out the answers for these puzzles and also to study the structure of the sun in a better manner. So, what is that Aditya L1 mission? About that, we will discuss in the upcoming video. So, here I have given the uh, slides uh, regarding uh, the sun, the basics of sun. You can go through, you can pause the video and you can make a note. So, here please note down, it is the radius of the sun is not 7 into 108, it is 7 into 10 to the power of 8. 7 into 10 to the power of 8. So, yes, you can pass, make precise notes. The puzzle I have mentioned here, you can go through. Okay. About the coronal mass ejection, solar flares I have given here, you can go through. So, based on our discussion, I have given an MCQ, find out the right answer and give it in the comment section. Right. So, in the next video, I will be discussing about Aditya L1. So, till then, bye, take care.